separating mixtures through evaporation. Hello everyone! Are you ready for our next lesson? Let us have a short review. Tell whether the mixtures can be separated by filtering or sieving. Dirt from water. Answer, filtering. Mongo from flour. Answer, sieving. Very good! Today, we are going to learn more about another technique in separating mixtures. Heat is an important component to our environment as it makes things live and grow abundantly. The presence of the sun's heat serves as the main source of energy in our planet as it brings many uses to the biotic known as living things and abiotic or non-living things components of our surroundings. As heat is used by animals and plants as the main source of energy, it is also useful in so many things in the process of evaporation as one of the techniques in separating mixtures. Another technique in separating mixtures is known as evaporation. Evaporation is the process of separating mixtures which involves heating the solution until the solvent evaporates leaving behind the solid residue. Heat, being the main component in this process, separates the mixtures of solid from liquid. Examples of evaporation Boiling water Drying clothes Drying of wet roads after a heavy rain Now you are going to answer the following questions what is evaporation? What is needed to achieve evaporation process? Give examples of evaporation. Activity time. Put a check if the technique used is evaporation and X if not. 1. Water cycle. 2. Water and seeds. 3. Pulling a chair. 4. Drying of hair. 5. Boiling kamote tops. That's all for today, children. See you in our next episode. Thank you for watching. See you again. Bye!